Hey everyone, it is Tuesday after Memorial Day. Um, I'm back to work. Feels good. We put the uh, got the cylinder back in and got the pucks back in the boom, which uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit. So, which made a big difference, definitely. That was one of those things that probably shouldn't have been taken care of with so, But we're back. It's a little cloudy today. It's nice weather this weekend, but just the way this spring has gone, it's just drought on and on. So. But it's just gonna feel good to get back to work. having something to do which is incredibly important so um, I know I'll feel a lot better so anyways I'll be back in a little bit and show you uh, for those of you who don't know I'll show you where those pucks um, went in I'll show you the old ones and the old there's a nylon I think it's nylon like a rectangular or it's not square but that fits in underneath the boom which keeps the extendable shimmed up. Um, I put one of those in too and I'll show you that. And, uh, Wes has uh, started forwarding today. Um, and there's just a couple areas he'll have to brush up and stuff. But it's, it's nice to get things rolling. So I'll be back in a little bit. So I'm back. It's about 5 p.m. Wes has kind of got the yard started to set up the way he wants it. Um, he separates all his short pine logs, mostly 10s and 12s, from the 16s. And uh, he's got his hardwood pile logs down there started, and then the hardwood pile right over here. And had a couple of under oak trees right here to get out of the way so we can you know, run back on this side. So, uh, not a very big yard, so that's going to be a little bit of a pain. So. And of course, it's raining. I just, this spring, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's almost June. really maybe only had one nice day. I think in April they said it rained 20 something days out of the month. So it's just not drying up. So what the other thing we're trying to do I guess is what I figure to help us if this weather continues is he started doing it, but running brush through here, it's kind of a little low spot, but right before the yard, um, it's a real good idea to really brush this up, and then the main trail goes over here. And if you can, if you can get your main trail kind of armored, per se, with brush or the real red, uh, wet spots, put some wood in there. Um, That'll take care of a lot of issues. So, or it'll prevent. What you don't want to do is be, especially right here. This is a state road, um, and for anybody that doesn't know, and there'll be some of you that do know, this is all sand, so this isn't too bad. But if you don't get that main trail back there armored up. Every time that forwarder comes out with the tracks, it's going to bring mud into this yard. And then you're going to try trucking, and it's going to just, the more you do, the more mud you're going to drag out in the road, and the shittier the yard's going to get. And really don't want to be dragging mud out into that road. Um, so armor that trail up. Uh, the only stuff he'll be dragging out here is what's, or it'll just be the yard. And this will dry real quick because it's, you can see right that lighter colored dirt that's sand so there's very little 
topsoil on here. In fact, you could, I could probably scrape this off and get it right down with sand. So I'm gonna shut this, shut the harvester down. Then I'll go over quick. It's it's raining out, but and show you where those pucks are and stuff. Wes did say that it was a lot smoother to run, which I guess I have. You know, I don't run that that much, but. It makes sense when you're trying to, basically with that boom knot, that extended boom knot shimmed and you're, it's always kind of doing this. So if you're trying to load wood, it's almost like, you know, it's got that play in the extended boom. So he said it was a lot smoother to run and it'll prevent any more issues from that cylinder. So I'll be back in a second. So here, those pucks go right in here. I don't know, you probably can't, you can't see. But they, this cap just kind of holds them tight so they won't spin. So, and then that nylon uh, sort of wear bar goes. You, those bolts right there on top. That's a right there. You pull that little plate off and it slides right in there. I'll show you that too in a second. So this is that. You can see how it's worn. That's what that's what slides in underneath the boom, shims that extended boom and shims it. Here are the um, old pucks, and um, these are the new ones. These are the ones I had made, so you can kind of see the difference. So. Anyways, those were the new pucks. Turn off the radio. Oh, this rain. So th those were the new pucks. And uh, so anyways, they came out nice. It'd just be nice if this rain would stop. It felt pretty good today to at least be getting something done but we'll see what it's like tomorrow if the nice thing about working in sand if it'll just stop raining for a little while that won't get it the yard won't get muddy <laughs> um, so we'll see how the rest of the ground does that that'll be the, the uh, excuse me the deciding factor whether we can whether West can keep forwarding or gonna have to stop for a day so alrighty like subscribe comment we'll catch you later